What you guys got another video here for you on should you buy or sell used hard drives now on eBay and other sites like those you can pick up used hard drives and I also see people selling hard drives now what are the pitfalls and what should you be looking out for if you're into flipping PCs or if you're looking to buy yourself some cheap hard drives even solid state drives you can pick these up as well should you buy them and should you be selling them what should you be doing that's what we're going to be talking about in this video and we're going to take a look at the pros and cons about hard drives so let's take a look at the pros and cons for buying and selling hard drives or used hard drives so the first one is pros there's not many pros to buying and selling drives uh, to be honest and uh, they are cheaper to a degree but not by a lot in this country now you should be looking at 50% or less if you're looking to buy a used drive would I recommend you buy a used drive no and I'll explain why now these four and three terabyte drives they're gonna still hold a pretty premium but you need to look out for a bunch of cons which I'm gonna tell you right now warranty you're not going to have any warranty on these drives and this is the problem when you buy a used drive there's going to be no warranty for it and you don't know if that has been well used i.e in a server or cctv system or nas drive or something like that which are constantly being written to and the sort of wear and tear on the drive so you don't know if they are failing or whether they've got bad sectors and that is another thing I see a lot of drives that are being sold and not being uh, you know shown properly with information which you should be looking for so you don't know the history of that drive and what was stored on it that is another big problem when it comes to buying used drives now that goes for people that are buying and selling drives if you are buying a drive you don't know what you're actually buying what was actually on there previously there could have been all sorts of stuff on there which you might not want to have in your possession and two if you're selling a drive you need to make sure that that drive is properly fully sanitized to make sure that no one can get back all of the data on that drive so let's take a look at some used drives here you can see this one terabyte is 34 pounds and 90 pence and it's also refurbished you can see another one here one terabyte if you buy one of them you get them at 35 pounds two you can get them at 34 pounds and 30 pence and so on so if you look at these two terabyte drives you can see they are 48 pounds each you can get them cheaper if you buy more so again these smaller drives these old mechanical drives you can see there's people asking not a lot of money for these but they've probably already had a really hard life and they've probably uh, got a few miles on the clock so are they really worth it they might say refurbished but what does refurbished mean again when you're buying new ones you can see how cheap they are these one terabyte drives are as little as 38 pounds and you've also got 44 pounds so that said it's not that expensive that's only 10 pounds different between new and old you can see here 58 pounds and 44 pence for a brand new two terabyte drive and a 35 pounds 99 for a one terabyte drive here and these are blue so again that's not even a tenner that's less than six pounds so why would you want to buy a used one when you can buy something like this same thing for SSDs these are pretty old 8 gigabytes 160 gigabytes and again you can go through here and take a look at the pricing now you can pick SSDs up pretty pretty cheap nowadays these are all uh, sort of budget level SSD which they are trying to sell at pretty expensive prices 30 pounds 35 pounds again uh, integral are pretty cheap ones as well SanDisk these are all pretty cheap and you can normally buy these brand new for around about 30 pounds or 35 pounds or something along those lines as I bought one the other day as you can see here for 33 pounds and 98 pence for a 240 um, gigabyte drive and it has got pretty good speeds on it so what you should be looking for is the smart data they should be showing you the smart data on that drive if you are buying it this will give you some information of how many power on cycles it's had and how many hours it's powered on how healthy is the drive 
and temperature and all that other sort of good stuff whether there's any sort of uh, damage to the drive whatsoever and you can also get the smart readout for mechanical drives as well and this is very important because obviously you want to know how old the drive is and you can check up on that sort of information here and see whether there's any bad sectors if there is bad sectors on the drive don't buy them they're a waste of money and you really want to see also some diagnostics of that drive now you may be thinking this is a bit overkill if you're paying something like £10 or £40 for a drive. Well, not really, because it means that you're going to get um, known good information about that drive to see whether the drive is failing or whether it's uh, got some sort of clicking noises and things like that. You'll be able to tell whether the drive is in good health or not by looking at all the logs. It's very easy for them to quickly do a test and show you the log files for each drive that they're selling. If they're going to the trouble of selling that drive, they should go to the trouble of giving you the information uh, on that drive to let you know whether the drive is in good health or not. Now, it seems to me in the UK, we like to inflate our prices on used parts. And that's because for some reason, people are trying to make a living out of selling old junk. So you should be seeing all this information and you should see in a pass certificate on these to make sure you know what you're buying is in good health. It's no good buying a drive and then finding out it's got bad sectors on it because that drive is going to be useless for storing data on. It's going to be too much risk. Now, how are they sending the drive to you in post? Is it in a very uh, secure box to make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit? Because that's what they'll probably say. It must have got damaged by you and you're now trying to claim your money back. There's probably going to have no warranty or no return. And there's also refurbished. How do you refurbish that drive? What are they done? It's just a word I see used quite a lot on uh, eBay and places like that. Refurbished, which means absolutely nothing Again, if you are selling a drive, you want to make sure that that company that is buying it or you're giving it to is really erasing all of the data on that drive and giving you a certificate of insurance that they have done it properly. A lot of PC repair companies may not do this. They may take the old PC off of you and just take it out the back and just whack it with a hammer and throw it in the recycle bin. That's not good enough. You need to be 100% sure that all of that data is completely erased according to blanco data removal specialist they purchased 159 used drives on ebay in the us and europe and found 42 percent of them or 67 devices enabled anyone with basic it literacy to be able to recover any of that information back on that drive which is very scary stuff and they claim a whopping 15 percent contained personal identifiable information that could be used by cyber criminals now this uh, article was on the register and I'll leave the link in the video description for that so if you want to take a read of that then by all means do so it's a pretty good read so on paper it is safe but you never know what someone would put on that drive so ask for the smart information and print out any sort of drive diagnostics before you purchase any sort of drive and if you're selling drives make sure you can get a certificate of approval of data destruction on that drive so you've got something to go back on if something comes back and bites you in the backside when someone has actually recovered all your data on there now this could be sensitive information like emails uh, you know business accounts uh, passwords all this sort of stuff which cyber criminals would love to get their hands on so be very very careful who you give your pc to with your hard drive intact especially if you're getting rid of a pc you should always take the drive out and keep the drive and then give them the pc even if it's a small pc repair shop keep your drive before you give them the old pc because that is the key to all your past and you have to be very careful so should you buy or sell used hard drives in my personal opinion no i wouldn't bother uh, it's just too much risk and uh, that is that in a nutshell now if you're buying drives in the uk i would say that you're better off buying new because you're not really saving that amount of money i don't know anyone who wants drives smaller than a terabyte nowadays it's not really worth buying those small uh you know 60 gig drives and stuff like that you can't do much with them and if you're selling drives or you're giving away your PC that has your drives in it, just make sure you get a certified uh, hardware sanitized company that are going to give you a certificate and proof that the drive has been properly destroyed or been recycled in a proper way. 
Now, if you want to do this yourself, you can do. The way I like to do it is pretty straightforward. You can take the platters outside of the uh, hard drive case inside and then just basically put those onto a belt sander and uh, basically take away all the top surface off of that. And then also you can fold the drive up and that would basically stop anyone from getting any data off of there you can use one of those uh, tear, pair of tin snips on them and chop them up into bits if you want to go that far and break it all down there's machines that can actually do it as well but they're quite costly but anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video helps you out i shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and Click all to be notified when we upload new videos.